start off with anything. Um, one thing I do quite like is if you do want me to um, kind of go out of my way almost to review your work, please at least like like the video. Like it's really not asking much because um, we got 79 entries here and 36 likes, which means that 44 people that submitted a video didn't actually like the video, which, oh, sorry, 43, yeah, um, which, see, it takes one click of a button, that button there, it's all it takes, it's not hard, so in the future, please, if you want your work um, reviewed, please just do something for me and just click the like button. Like this is to try and help the community, and the community is meant to help each other. So help me by liking the video. It's not much to ask, is it? But anyway, this week we got 79 entries, which is awesome. A few of you should have pressed the like button, but you'll know for next week. So we'll do what we normally do and use a random number gen generator and we get 69, ha ha ha, um, which is on page two. And that'll be one, four, seven. Is that right? One, three, <laughs> five, seven, nine. So here we have someone I've followed for a little while um, called Popeye Productions and here we have Facing the Spheres or Facing Your Spheres which is a play on words for Facing Your Fears which I really like um, so I've actually seen this animation before and I believe I liked it I didn't like the video but there you go um, but really like um, this kind of what looks simple but is really powerful and uh, this kind of glow on the floor here really really nice the lighting's brilliant um, the idea is really nice and I believe there's a little ripple as well or just distortion but it looks really nice and the final camera angles pretty cool maybe would have preferred it kind of a bird's eye view from above so you saw like just a glow on the floor uh, with the letters forming, maybe even the letters with a bit of glow uh, glowing up uh, the floor as well. But overall, really, really nice animation. Um, as you can see, everyone in the comments likes it as well. Um, it's a real shame you don't get more views for your videos. Um, I know you put a lot of work into them, and that's kind of the problem with YouTube is you kind of don't get the um, audience which you would like, and that really puts some people off, which is such a shame because there's so much talent out there they just um, kind of give up because not enough people are kind of um, viewing their work and so they're kind of making it kind of to an empty audience which I know can be quite tough um, so anyway really great work on there and keep it up um, next we're gonna have 72 so that's 78 six four two so here we have black elite studio and we have that's nice at first i thought it was really plain um you could do with maybe a bit of something in the background but here like i, I like the texturing here the lighting in this particular bit's really nice but overall it looks a little bit plain. I see you've got a tiny flare here, but maybe something in the background, a um, few colors, anything. Um, I'm releasing a, a template soon for After Effects and that kind of has um, an example of what you can do in the background. Really easy using the light sweep to create like a gradient. Um, but this is really not, uh, I thought it looked quite plain, but, um, that's really nice as well. This effect's really nice. Um, you can tell quite a bit of work's going in um, there to create that effect, and I love how it um, uh, the kind of ease on it there. So this takes a while, and the motion blur with all these appearing um, makes for a really nice intro. Um, but the only thing I would say is that 
Oh, there is something in the background. Um, but maybe just make it a bit brighter or have something so it's not completely black. Um, well, it can be black, just not completely plain. But overall, really nice job, and I really like this, um, the colouring here. Um, next we have 71. So, oh, I've already done one for you, I'm afraid. Um, you're not getting that lucky. Um, 25. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9... 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25. I Ponage Designs, not a giant fan of your name, but whatever. Well, it's pretty playful. Um, goes on pretty long. Like, not enough happens um, for it to go on for quite this long. But I like I like the little uh, bits here. But this could have been shortened down to maybe 10 seconds um, with a bit more happening. Um, overall, though, it, it is nice. Um, some good work with After Effects um, using various plugins, um, but the background's kind of seems kind of away from the objects. So it would have been nice to kind of in like implement it a tiny bit more. Um, and you see, you get this kind of gradient, but these buttons are all like the same kind of block color. So a bit of variation in the color there, even between like the outer ring and the dot uh, and the symbol. Would have been nice, and the X looks a little bit thin, but uh, I'm not going to judge that. Um, if it's all done in After Effects, then it's quite nice, like a kind of 3D look in 2D, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, now the timing's good, but as I mentioned, it's just a bit long for my liking, um, for not too much happening. But overall, it's pretty nice, so well done. Um, next, we're going to have. 24, so Veins Artistic Noah's Intro That's pretty pretty epic uh, So this is pretty cool maybe a bit too glowy because it's quite hard to see but I'm liking these little dots on the outside um, not too sure what you've done to create there, maybe particular or something in Cinema 4D. Um, pretty crazy. Really like that, um, this slow wave here. A lot of people do really quick ones, but with a camera shake, it looks really good. Um, I bet you that would have looked horrible <laughs> um, if you didn't have the camera shake, um, but it looks awesome with it. So, um, that's pretty cool. Ooh, what's my mouse doing? Ooh, super slow. <laughs> Just gonna have to turn my Bluetooth off. My Bluetooth back on. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool intro. Um, it's just such a shame that um, it goes from this epic kind of crazy intro to that. Um, because it kind of, kind of just falls off, especially because you got, like, everything's not quite black here, and then suddenly it just goes completely black with a tiny bit of, like, really tiny, tiny text. Could have been a bit bigger, could have been done, um, you could have just used the same extrude nerves you did for this, uh, with the text, just rendered it out, didn't even have to animate it just a single frame and tiny bit of scaling done in After Effects to give it a kind of fake um, zoom um, but overall pretty sweet um, crazy epic and I really like the sound as well um, really great use of 
presumably action essentials. Um, now we have 22s. Now they like sticking together, don't they? So we have Flame Bird Studios with his 2003 demo reel intro. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, pretty short, which is pretty good. Not used to it in this. Um, potentially that bird kind of disappears uh, quite quickly, but I really like how it forms. Like these bits here, are really nice. Um, if you use a tutorial, um, or yeah, you said. I will make a breakdown tutorial, do it, um, and link it to me when you're done, because I'll be interested in seeing that. Uh, really like the effect, um, and this is really nice as well. Um, pretty epic start to a demo reel. Hopefully the rest of the demo reel actually lives up to that. So, yeah, link me your demo reel as well, I like to see it. I like seeing everyone else's work, um, that's why I like people tweeting it at me as well. So. If you do want to send me any work just to look at, not kind of do this massive video about it, um, follow me on Twitter. Um, it's The Twitter is at Ian underscore Chudley. And follow me, send me whatever you like, and I'll probably look at it. And if I remember, I'll also reply to the tweet as well. Um, 18. God, these are close. Um we got CG Animate. How long am I going? 11. Um, so I've got pretty basic 2D intro. Or is it? See, that looks 3D. And that's definitely 2D. Uh, the gradient is pretty unique in the sense that it's not white to black. It's kind of white to blue to whatever that color is, I don't know. Um, like maybe you needed to keep it spinning a little bit because um, it suddenly stops, but keep zooming. But that bit's pretty nice. And this text kind, kind of ruins it. Like 2D intros are pretty hard and you need to kind of get them right otherwise um, they just don't really look very great. Like the flow is pretty nice, but could do with a bit of improving. So um, if you're just starting out, then you're doing much better than I did when I first started. Um, it's just practice um, and more practice, really. Look at a load of 2D intros, kind of copy their style, copy the flow, um, follow tutorials, everything you can, uh, just to kind of keep improving. So just keep at it and you'll get there. Next and finally we have 68. So 2, 4, 6, 8. An outro design. That was pretty cool. I thought about doing one of these for myself but I didn't know how helpful it would be. Um, really like the flow of this one. Um, so the person before, you can, um, you might be able to get a little bit from this one. In fact, um, really like, really like it. Yeah, like everything kind of works. Um, like everything's so it's like really fast paced. Yet it stays there long enough that you can easily read it because uh, it's all one word and you'll be able to see it straight away. Um, maybe it would have been better if the text went along with the bird. Uh, maybe the bird was going a bit too quick, so maybe slow it down just so it's kind of synced up a bit. Um, and I've no idea if it looked good, but maybe a tiny bit more glitch, like an RGB split on it a tiny bit um, would have looked pretty cool. Um, and you said I'm extremely proud of the outcome and has motiv motivated me loads. Yeah, you should be. It's really nice. Um, maybe a tiny, like, something different happened at the end rather than it fading out, but who knows? Maybe um, from the other uh, demo reel intro with the uh, kind of bird kind of disappearing, I think that's an effect in After Effects, so kind of 
it all kind of blotching to white would have looked cooler or something like that like the bird even the bird like uh, zooming in so it's, everything turns white I don't know I don't really do 2d intros very well but overall really nice um, pretty um, yeah you should be proud of it really like the blur as well and these little bits just to kind of add a bit of extra to it so well done to everyone and as always um, if you want some more uh, if you want me to review your work or have the chance to review your work then submit it as a response to this video and um, yeah remember to actually like the video as well if you do submit a video because it's not asking much is it um, and it helps me and it'll help me to help you yay um, so yeah have a great day everyone <laughs> no stupid mouse